for the neck I'm going to be focusing on the back area of the head and under the jaw. So the first thing I'm doing is checking the control and the joint that I'm going to use to be triggering this. So in this case I'm going to use the IK control, that's important because if you use the head only it's going to move only the top part of the of the head. So you want to use the IK control that also moves the neck. So it's a, the most uh, appealing and realistic one. If you use only the, the head you need to select another trigger to to drive your RBF. In this case will be the head joint but I'm using the the head last join of the neck. So now that we know which trigger and which control will trigger this, I'm just passing to model the, the blend shape. So I'm doing the first one that is this neck up. I'm just going to create another neck up extreme. So I'm just avoiding this pinch on under or the back of the head and also working on the under the jaw to create more appealing shape and silhouettes. So I'm just smoothing a little bit and when I create the symmetrize you can see here I have a little pinch on the middle so I'm just going to smooth out and now symmetrize again to ensure it's symmetrical and this is going to be um, the neck up extreme. Now that I have the extreme on the back or I'm just going to work when we move front or down the, the head so I'm just going to keep it straight my neck there and now I'm just going to work on the sides very quickly so here on the sides we don't have like left and right on the sense of the create a mirror so we, we have this tilt left and then later will be the tilt right so I just need to redo this manually so I'm just checking the position of the control and negate it and now connecting back again with my RVF node and that's it with that we have the neck